Thousands of Hungarians have protested against the authoritarian regime of Hungarian Prime Minister Viktor Orban. Although Orban's party won a two-thirds majority in parliament last year, they have lost support over curbs on media freedoms and civil liberties and their close ties to the Kremlin. It's not enough today in Hungary just to take part in public affairs by going to vote every four years. The politicians have grown over our heads. They've lost touch with reality. It's obvious that they're not representing the issues of the public, but they're building their own world. We feel that democracy has suffered a very serious blow. We would like to get back to the democratic system that existed before, before the Orban regime. There have been a series of anti-Orban protests in Hungary since late last year. The rallies began after the Hungarian government proposed a new tax on internet use, which was later dropped. Hungary also controversially cancelled plans to reverse pump gas to Ukraine indefinitely after Russia promised to boost gas exports to Budapest. Following pressure from the EU, Hungary recently announced that gas flows to Ukraine would resume. Both Brussels and Washington have criticised Orbán's government, with the US even banning a series of Hungarian officials from entering the United States due to allegations of corruption, in a move which a US diplomat dubbed a warning to Budapest.